seven, eight points to be able to get online. You're not supposed to really have access to these big ultimates as soon as the economy starts going for your opponent. <laughs> the Vi following up with the rifle. And Les does what he can, but it's just, it's not enough. Greg's come out, I guess, to the good. And Sadak's trying to make it fake like it's happening over towards A, and the Paper X players just peek. The more mess that's involved here, the more I think you start playing towards Paper X's strengths. The swings from both sides, just getting pulled into the more of Paper X. Nice, that's boys. all smiles on the faces of the Paper X players. Of course it would be. Yeah, not the coach. <laughs> Never, Alex. Safe position oh. to go for the I mean, half. Hesitation just to stick it and trust that they could potentially just you know, hold down the angle. Look, how is it? That they just allowed because of the craziness of how this map began. Allowed to start getting some big alts online. And, and to be honest, in my opinion, that was the biggest problem there. If Paper X had been able to run that same retake scenario, but without the breach ult, I really think they're favored. I need to oh. Truly unheard of. God, that's a face of it's scary. resignation almost. It's a, it's a scary Alex's face, face, isn't it? He's normally a little more animated than that. Be practicing stoicism or mewing. Not too sure. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Either inspired by Marcus Aurelius or uh, Sigma Males. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very similar, actually. Very similar. So, wall that Loud goes for. They have the advantage over fighting that cat kind of area yeah. to fail. But with Paper X's style, if they win that fight, suddenly there's a, a gap in the defense, and Paper X are very opportunistic. They do tend to exploit those fairly well. So certainly a weird round, not a successful one for Paper X on their attack side. Holding out in A main, supporting the rest of his team. And so here we see one Odin being picked up for Paper X. Now on defense was that they actually found those rounds to be able to catch Paper X doing something. And we're not really seeing that when the sides are flipped. Paper X are going for a lot of early round aggression instead of mid round aggression. And I think that timing difference has ended up being quite important for them. It's easier to read when it's just straight off the rip. Yeah, it is. I main Sova on Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> and because sadak has been going for re-clears and re-hits so often, Paper X had stacked so heavily on that area. Now, if that that has got to be Alex's reaction to two E's making the play, yeah. because he had that one moment of uh, despair and didn't follow up on it sugar out of them <laughs> and they were going for the heavy extremity control because the comps operate in very similar manners they were disrupting that tempo yeah and i think loud's comp does struggle the more you force it to split through mid it's mika here and i'm with alex of paper rex that was a really really close map um i want to know what was the most difficult part about the prep for this match especially since it's such a high pressure match and you're up against a team that you really only get to play against um in events like these yeah, I think, um, you know, Loud is one of the most intelligent and most consistent teams on the circuit, right? So, they're the, you know, we don't even know what they're going to pick on the map, Vito. They can play almost all seven maps. Probably can. Um, we just have to focus on ourselves this game, you know. I think we haven't had the best run, you know. So, we really just want to get this, um, get ourselves, like, quite more, more aligned, if anything. Okay, keeping it humble, but that had us on the edge of our seats. So, let's, uh, let's jump into the game for more.